I don't know what Prince William... Prince, why do I keep saying this? Well, I don't know why William is really... Uh, William? 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 What are you trying to do? What are you... I know you're panicking, everybody's panicking in the institution. William, please, stop. Do you understand? Just stop doing this stuff because it's just... Hey guys, it's Murad Murani. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch. And let's get straight into this video. So we have William who is really panicking over here and has now is doing PR campaigns left, right and center overcompensating which you don't need to do but perhaps could show your alleged guilt for these words that you might have or might not have said however this man is doing the absolute most and now it seems that you know an article has come out from um, the guardian i believe where a charity boss who once slept rough with prince william says he's never seen a hint of racism from him and he's been treated with dignity and respect in the 12 years they've worked together first and foremost this whole title is a mess because when has william ever slept rough he once slept rough sorry when when, when was william part of the royal family ever homeless what do you mean sleeping rough because you voluntarily decided to do something and to enjoy a homeless experience you've suddenly i don't know man this um, center point is chief executive officer say obakin his name is has defended the prince pair have worked close together for 12 years after spending the nights on the streets charity Bros says he has only ever been treated with respect by william racist allegations were made against a member of the family by Meghan markle so if allegations were made about a member why are you not defending him I, I, like why do we need to be reading this why I, I feel like they are panicking you see the opening picture here he is hugging his friend it's like they're trying to find every individual who could be brown or black person primarily black from what i'm seeing to try and evade these allegations against him but it's like it's not as if your name wasn't mentioned nobody mentioned your name with their chest for you to be doing all of this but why are you doing all of this it's because either you feel guilt either because you feel like you know this is the fact that you think that this is the right thing to do clearly shows that you and the pr team around you around you are absolutely crap to be honest with you because they're not obviously thinking about things properly because doing all of this doesn't do anything uh, I, 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 like when somebody speaks out to say oh this man can't be racist because he was you know amazing and very nice to me i feel like personally it's extremely selfish i can go around to people and say you know what this white man um, actually, a white girl, whatever, they aren't racist because they've been nice to me. So why would they be racist? How does that make any sense? Just because you've been nice to me as an individual doesn't mean you could be saying things out there or doing things out there that could be, you know, quite rude or offensive to other people, other races, other backgrounds, other heritages, demographics, etc., etc. It doesn't correlate. It doesn't make any sense. So why are you even trying to do it? And why do you think it makes sense? This is why I find it to be very weird. They're doing a lot of this. They're doing a back and forth constantly every other two days. They're out here now speaking um, in different kind of languages, I, be I believe, here and there. I don't know what the time... I've never had them speak together. I've never had them do adverts together. But they're suddenly doing all of this now since that interview happened. Had they literally stayed quiet and done nothing, I don't think there would be much, you know, Oh, William definitely said this, X, Y, Z, and I find it just to be very weird. Reports are also now surfacing, saying that William is actually very upset with Meghan and Harry's Oprah chat as their Megxit stuff is still raw. This Megxit is really irritating me. William is very upset and reeling over the bombshell claims made by his younger brother, Prince Harry, and sister-in-law Meghan Markle during the Oprah interview. Pals of the Duke of Cambridge have reportedly said that Megxit drama is still raw and the future's king head is all over the place after Harry confirmed the rift. Former palace aide said William, 38, and Mrs. Harry, 36, who moved to Canada, 38. Okay, he moved to Canada with wife Meghan. Harry told Oprah that he went, about, he went about different parts and there was space between them whilst Meghan claimed an unarmed royal made, you know, comments about x -Y -Z, which we all know about. So apparently he's really upset about that from what all these articles are saying. Again, these articles talk about people as if they're your age mates and they, and they live with you. So who even knows if that, if that in itself is true? Not that I'm defending William, but, you know, maybe it's not. Let's try to be objective to an extent when it comes to that story. But if you notice the PR that they're trying to do, if you notice the panicking, you don't need to do all that if A, you don't feel like you've done anything wrong and B, you don't feel like you're guilty and you know, you're overcompensating and now we're seeing more pictures. Of, I've never seen William with people of color ever in my life as much as, I've seen, as much as I've seen them now. Throughout the entire time that I've known, not known, that I've seen or know of this individual, now I've seen him more than ever. Now I've seen him more black people ever. I've never ever in my life, like when? 
When do you normally see it casually on a paper like this or this article this? You don't see it anywhere. So it begs the question, why are you doing that to try and evade these allegations by trying to, you know, but the timing of it is too coincidental. And the fact that his PR team do not see this, I find to be quite weird. Let me know your thoughts are guys when it comes to this. What are your thoughts? Subscribe to the channel. Click that button guys for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch. I love these little lights. The lights are so cute. I have a new Patreon video coming out tonight guys. A new Patreon video and it's a pretty serious one as well. So definitely head over there that is coming out. Subscribe and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.